This Jacoby Tire Box instructional video demonstrates the rebuilding of a typical bullseye sight flow indicator. The procedure is the same for all manufacturers with cross bolted assemblies. Today we'll rebuild a 2 inch model 910FA NF, which can be also rebuilt in a process line, but preferred method is to rebuild it on a bench to ensure proper component alignment. The parts needed will be the sight flow indicator, which we've already disassembled to save time torque wrench, a second wrench, anti-seize used for thread lubricant, a soft metal or plastic putty knife, we'll use a Jergeson gauge gasket scraper, a block of some type, your IOM manual so we can look up the proper torque value, and of course the spare parts which consists of two glass, two seal gaskets, and two cushion gaskets. A point to note is that glass must never be reused. Being used means that the glass has been placed in assembly, put under a torque, and then taken out of the assembly. It does not have to be in service. Every rebuild requires new glass and gaskets. Where the glass is tempered, annealed, or it's soda lime or borosilicate, stress is imposed upon the glass from the bolting. This cannot be seen and when the window is used again, it will lead to glass failure at an undetermined time. Okay, back to our assembly. We've ensured that our glass contact surfaces are clean and free of debris. On the body, there are two, and of course, on the retaining flanges, there are also two. We'll start the assembly by placing the face plate on the retaining flange, and then placing the bolts through the retainer and the face plate. After placing this on our block, we then put in the cushion gasket. If your gasket has words, it's typically assembled with words away from the glass. Will not limit the life of the, gas the glass or the gaskets. Just a normal practice. Place the sight flow indicator on top of the first glass and gasket set. Then repeat, placing the seal gasket now, followed by the glass, and finally the cushion gasket. Again, where it's out. Place on the second retaining flange. Prior to placing the nuts on the bolts, we will put anti-seize on all four fasteners. This ensures that we have a lubricated torque and will make the parts easier to disassemble for future rebuilds. Grab the nuts with the grade or rating on the outside and manually thread on each bolt. A cross bolting pattern is used even during hand tightening since two to three foot pounds could easily be applied by hand. This ensures that the glass is evenly loaded even from the very beginning stages. Once we have all four nuts in place, we then go to the IOM manual to look up the torque value. For a 2 inch model 910 FA, the proper torque is 10 foot pounds. We then take our torque wrench and we set it not to 10 foot pounds, but to 5. It's very important that we incrementally increase our torque to evenly load the glass. Having set our torque wrench to 5 foot pounds, we then again use a cross bolted pattern to apply torque to the assembly. Even in the beginning stages, it's common to step through multiple times and not even go to the actual torque value full click, again, to ensure proper loading.
Had we reached five foot-pounds on all four fasteners, we then increase our torque to the required 10 foot-pounds. Having achieved 10 foot-pounds, we've now properly rebuilt the siphon indicator. For additional information, go to jacobitarbox.com for IOM manuals, drawings, or also to find your local representative.